Okay, so the situation is bad. We got 10 hours left. Now, how does one like me end up in this situation? Well, the simple answer is... I forgot. Yep, that is... that is my excuse. Now, I don't know how, but somehow by pure coincidence, I logged in today, and this is the situation. It's currently like 2.30 in the morning, so the situation is not ideal for like just playing the game in general. But I guess, I guess we move. I just realized, why am I climbing? I can just teleport. This isn't green only. I'm actually losing it. <laughs> Okay, the start of the grinding session. I am not excited. Wait, these these are the actual the, the freaking Pokemons from Zhongli. They look like just NPCs with a green dye. Like, trust me, if you go on Google and search up like mountain ship or something, the first thing that comes up is a fan art. And for the longest time I thought that was the real thing. What? Can't believe it. This, no wonder the Lantern Right has so much controversy. What is this? Okay, so I'm just gonna turn my brain off and uh, just start speedrunning this. I'll see you guys if something interesting happens. Okay, nursing time. For those who missed out on the event or are just here from the future, Here's a very bad summary of what happened. First up, we meet up with Gami, who honestly just seems like a nice guy, and definitely does not have any family issues, as of right now. We find out that Gami is a delivery worker, and he needs to get that bread. So we visit Kung Fu Panda Village, with beautiful greenery. And after seeing this beautiful greenery, my brain went on auto mode as I compared Zhang Ling's facial expression to other characters. And I'll tell you what, Zhang Ling needs that depression pronto, she's smiling too much. Then we see the gaming family roaming around. And gaming's like, I can't be asked to talk to my 15th cousin. That is way too much work. Hashtag relatable. So we sneak past them just like the Leeway Guards, unsuspectedly. And then meet up with the man himself, the CEO of Delivery, Zhong Li. Actually, no, he's not called Zhong Li, he's called something else. Zigwe? Something like that. And then he tells us that Ga Ming is the employee of the month. And he definitely has no family issues at all. And then Ga Ming takes us out to eat some food with him. He's just a nice guy. Chapter 1 finished. Chapter 2, we see Cloud Retainer getting actively scammed by people and toys. And then we're like, huh, that's interesting. So Cloud Retainer takes us to the mountains and we see Shen He and Ganyu roaming around. And Ganyu, the overworked map employee, is very, very tired. So of course, in order to cure depression, we make kites. And I personally chose the Sus Paimon kite. It just looks cool. And also Gaming was there as well, just in the background. And then GigaChat Cloud Retainer was like, I got Ganyu and Shenhe some very, very nice dresses to make them breedable and submissive. Chapter 3 We meet up with Gaming's dad and uh... What happened again? I forgot, this what happens when you don't script. You just forget. Okay, I got this. We meet up with Gaming's dad and... He's like, I don't like Gaming's dance that much. So we get some stocks on the side to make some deliveries. And then out of nowhere, KFC and Rudolph dress up as bandits and tries to rob us. 
off. My mistake, original gangster. No, this cannot be forgiven. Now empty the compartments of your pantaloons. For what purpose? And discard of your footwear For as what well. purpose? In fact, I am equipped to summon the one casually known as Little Travis on your buffoon side. Away. Let us away. So weird. <laughs> Coming! Then, a wild jungly comes out of nowhere. And then gives family counselling because he's just that guy. He's him. And then um, they make up and yeah, just we just see the dance and everything's Gucci. What am I saying? <laughs> oh, we're done. Let's go. Wait. Okay, now we just get to the whole festival fever thing. But lucky for me, I memorized one of the puzzles, the freaking Gobo one, while I was doing the whole story quest. So this should be easy. So let's start. Okay, we're done. That took only like a few minutes. Once you like memorize the whole thing in your head, it just comes down to like if you can recognize the patterns and just do the things step by step. Okay, so we got Jin Yan, Yan Fei, and obviously Gaming. I didn't expect this many power characters, to be honest. But obviously, we're gonna go for Gaming because he's just a go. You know what, I'm actually glad that I logged in today and somehow, by pure chance, we had like just enough time to finish the whole story quest. I mean, I'm actually kinda excited to try out like gaming tomorrow. But for now, it's currently 4.30 and I gotta hit the sack. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next morning. Okay, it's been 5 hours since I last logged in. And I feel like I'm dying. Some of you with good eyes might have noticed, Gaming's not in my party. Where's Gaming? Where is he? Who's Gaming? Well, simply, dance is simple. That's, that's way too many simples. Well, simply, dancer is, my party's full. So now to free up some space, we gotta sacrifice one of the four characters. And you know what? I'll let you guys guess who might that be. You got four options and it's a 25% chance. Yep, you got it right. It's it's Amber. I mean that's that's really obvious. Come on. Well, well, Amber, it's been a good run. We did some abyss hunting, commissions, uh, did some more story quest. But I guess, all things considered, Gaming is just a nice guy with no family issue. So, goodbye. We'll probably never upgrade you again. So in terms of weapons, Gaming has a wide range of choice. But there's clearly one weapon that craves Gaming. And it yearns for kids. I mean it yearns for Gaming. And that weapon is the bell. The bell yearns for miners. So not to level up this guy to level 40, we need a special mob drop called the Emperor's Resolution. And as you have guessed, it's it's a power mob. Far. So while Future Me is fighting the boss, I assume. 
What the fuck, like this is so rigged. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? We're gonna go over the pros and cons of Gaming. Let's start with pros. First up, his clothing's have different colours at day and night. Which, I've gotta say, is pretty cool. Like, as a gamer myself, RGB equals nice. Next up is burst and skill. He's basically a budget chow. He does them plunge attacks, which is good against both single and multiple enemies. Okay, let's go to cons now because I am out of ideas. First up, his hold normal skill is... It's just very bland and classic. The second thing I can think of that's a con is... The fact that he's a Claymore user. And I've already got one. In the form of Diluc. So yeah, that's, that's all I can think of, honestly. It's not that bad. Okay, the next thing on the agenda is to finish up Liu Arkham Quest and I guess attempt the Spile Abyss. But you know what, I've got to like wrap this up. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Adios.